lot of different ways we could do this. Where do you want to start? We got an awful lot of limits on this one. Anybody have a preference on where we start? Ooh, a little bit louder, Eva. As X approaches negative two? Yeah, because we've got from the left and we've got from the right, right? So I know at negative two, coming from the right, I gotta be at two. And then coming from the left, I've gotta be down here at negative one. All right, so I'm gonna have something attached on both of these. <clears throat> now, this one, since this is f of negative two, actually these three things kind of go together. That tells me where my open dot or closed dot could be. All right, this tells me at f of negative two, I gotta be at negative one, so I really need a, a, a closed dot there. And then that would make this dot up here have to be open. If I want that limit, from the left to be negative one and from the right, so I could do this. Let's not go too far because I don't know what the heck's gonna be going on. Let's just go a little bit. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do over here yet. So I've taken care of this, I've taken care of this, I've taken care of this. Okay, now the next value, the next X value is one. So I would probably come down here and address this because as X approaches four and F of four is all the way over here. So this is where I'm gonna to need to go next to figure out what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the limit as X approaches one goes to infinity. All right, so what? That would look like some unbounded behavior. Okay, so what would be a good thing to have at one? A vertical asymptote, that probably would be a really good idea. So if I put that vertical asymptote at one and then make this part of the function go up here, and then I could do something like this, okay? Because then I've got that unbounded behavior. I've got the limit as X approaches one going to infinity. So that one works pretty good. All right, now I gotta go all the way out to four. There's one, two, three, four. At F of four, the function value has to equal one. Okay, so I know the function value has to equal one at four. I know that's got to happen, but the limit needs to be three. There's three. What's going to be the easiest way to do this? I got to get this line coming down here, and it'd be better if it goes right through three, right? But if it mm -hmm. goes through three, what's going to be right there? An open dot. Open dot. So, and I need something on both times. Okay, double check as the limit as X approaches four. It is three. We're going to assume that's not horizontal. I was coming down on the curve there. All right, we still have F of four equaling one. Okay, so actually what this is, is it's a, it's a process. It's a thinking process. Uh, do one thing at a time. And, and if you can catch it.